Hey guys, so I know I look a little weird. Um, I had a request to teach you how to put on false lashes. I know a lot of people right now are experiencing some outgrow of roots, uh, lash extensions, shedding, you know, all those good things because we aren't in the salon to be able to help you freshen up. So for anybody that might not have very many lashes left, um, none at all, not really sure where you guys are in your shedding processes, I want to teach you guys how I put on falsies. Um, you don't have to wear eyeliner with them. I know my eyeliner looks a little wonky, but it's fine. Um, you can wear liner. The only time I feel I need to wear eyeliner is with a thicker band lash. Something like this. So you see how it has a thicker band here. Um, most of the time those will look a little bit more natural when you wear eyeliner because it will mimic the lash band. Um, so I am going to teach you guys how to put lashes on. I personally recommend when you're first starting out to do something more like this. Um, you can see the band is a little thinner. They're usually a little bit more flexible, um, a little more easy to move, things like that. So today I'm going to be using a pair that I've already worn. Um, the more you wear them, the more flexible they'll get. Mine is a bit of a thicker lash band, but it applies, the way I do it, applies the same way to any kind of lash. Um, I am not sure what lashes these are. I'm really bad about keeping boxes and stuff. So, you're going to need a pair of tweezers. Um, Tarte also makes a pair of, like, lash applicators. You can use those. Um, I don't really have a personal preference, so today I'm going to be using tweezers. I will say, I will say using your fingers is a little harder, so definitely get a pair of tweezers. The lash glue that I like is the Duo Lash Glue. Um, if you are allergic to latex, they do have a latex-free one. Um, this is just the white. Um, it goes on white, dries clear. Uh, they also have black. Um, they have a few different ones. This is my favorite. Um, in my makeup kit, I have a... It's like callus or something like that, and it's a black latex-free formula. Um, I just make sure I have a latex-free in my kit because I never know who's going to be allergic to it and not, so I'd rather be safe than sorry. So what I do is I will do my eyeshadow, liner, whatever I'm going to be wearing that day. I used to put mascara on before, I don't anymore. Um, I feel like I can get them a little snugger to the lash line. That was a weird word. I'm going to take my duo glue and I tried to get you guys zoomed in so you could see. And I'm going to put out a little and just drag it across the lash band. Now I let this sit for a little bit. Um, it's really, you want to let it sit and get a little tacky. Um, I would say, I don't know, about 30 seconds, maybe a little longer. Um, but the tackier it is, the better it's going to stick so that it's not moving around like a wet noodle. So the wetter, the harder it's going to be to apply. Okay, so once your lashes get a little tacky, I pick it up and I will go with my tweezers right into the middle of the lash. Kind of wave it around to make sure it is tacky. I always have some kind of mirror and I kind of put it kind of so I'm looking down at it. You can even blow on it. If you are um, a makeup artist, you cannot blow on um, lashes that you're going to be putting on someone else. So if they're yours, fine. If you're putting them on someone else, don't blow on them. So, okay, this is really hard. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to kind of set it on there and then I'm going to pull. I'm going to set it, get it anchored onto my outer corner, and then the inner corner. 
So now I will let them sit. They're gonna feel a little funny. I am wearing a pretty dramatic lash today. Um, personal preference. You know, like I said, starting off, the Ardell Demi Wispy is phenomenal. So I'm just gonna let that sit and I'm going to apply the other lash. Again, in the middle. And this is really hard. And you wanna get it as close as possible to the lash line. So I'll always anchor my outer corner because then I can, if it's to my outer corner, it won't be too far in to my inner corner and bother you. The closer it is to the inner corner, the more it's gonna bother you. I'm used to them now, so I wear mine pretty far in. But be getting um, a little further on the outer corner and not so much on the inner corner will make them a little bit more comfortable until you get used to them. So now I let them sit. They look a little funny, um, also because I don't have mascara on, but I let them sit. While I'm letting them sit, you guys, whenever you get lashes and you have like smaller eyes, always make sure that you trim them and always trim from the outer corner. So a lot of lashes will have like a wing effect. Trim, and I go by the notches on lashes. I don't know if I'll be able to show you, but if you look at lashes, do you see how you can see the V? I go by that, so like one, two, I would probably take two notches off of this. Kind of go slow and measure every time until you get the length that you're looking for. And I just use a little pair of eyebrow scissors. Um, Skylar has them in the bathroom. But these have already been worn. I don't think I trimmed any off of these. Like I said, I'm pretty used to them now, so I do wear... Uh, usually a full strip um if i put them on and they're bothering my inner corner the next time i wear them i'll trim off a little bit so now that they've sat for a minute i'm gonna go in with my tweezers and i'm just going to squeeze them So, now that they are squeezed down, I am going to take my mascara. Any mascara will do. I recommend a black, not a brown, because then you can sometimes see the difference in color of your lashes. So this is the It Cosmetics Lash Blowout Mascara. And since I put my mascara on after my lashes, I kind of look down again and just wiggle at the base. The more mascara you get up in the kind of fluffiness, the more it will clump them together. And I don't know, you can probably see a little bit of a difference. This lash band. So my card got full, so I don't know where I left off, but I'm using my mascara. And... You can tell that this eye looks a little bit fuller and more put together than this one and that's because I have mascara on this one. So I'm just going to go in at the root and wiggle it just to color my natural lashes so that you can't tell a difference. I mean, these of course don't look like my eyelashes, but we want to make them look as natural as possible. So another trick, my mirror fell. Another trick to help blend them is taking a black liner. You can take a brown, really any color liner if you're doing like colorful liner or whatever. But I'm going to take the Tarte Sex Kitten, uh, the Tarte Sex Kitten liner, and I'm going to tight line. This is a little uncomfortable if you do this for the first time. Uh, just practice, get used to it. Some people close their eye. I just look down and look over and color that waterline in. So I don't know if you can really tell on camera, this always makes my eyes water, but this looks more together and thicker than this one. Okay. 
So now that we're done, throughout the day, the heavier, like the thicker of lash you're wearing, the more they can fall down. So if you're ever taking pictures or you feel like they maybe look a little drippy, I just take my fingers and I just kind of wiggle in between my outer corner and close my eyes and just kind of push up. Um, with like Demi Wispies and anything that's a little, what's what I'm looking for, a uh, lighter of a lash, you don't have to do this as much. Um, but before I take like a selfie or if I'm getting professional pictures taken or something, I will go in and just push them up every once in a while so that my eyes look a little bit more open. So I'm just going to finish it off with a little bottom mascara. And that is the finished look. Um, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, anything, please let me know in the comments below. And I hope you guys enjoy. Bye.